All right, so as Brian Sherman comes to the other side of the studio here, if you're out and about the holiday weekend, mm -hmm. not a whole lot of people traveling yesterday, but they may no. be coming back home today mm -hmm. over the weekend. Things could get kind of dicey if you're yes. flying, right? Yeah, it could be a little dicey, especially this afternoon and into this evening. We're talking here in Michigan, a good portion of the state, all the way down into the Ohio and Tennessee valleys. Airport delays out the door with radar early this morning. It's green across the board, although we are tracking some thunderstorms in portions of the Tennessee Valley early this morning, just to the west of Nashville and across the region. No delays showing up out the door this morning for Metro Airport over to Lansing, Grand Rapids, as well as Madison, Wisconsin, and even Chicago O'Hare early this morning. Although with thunderstorms in the forecast this afternoon, we could see some delays or even some ground stops as those thunderstorms develop and move throughout the region. Tower cam over at Metro Airport this morning, a little bit of sunshine showing up and a little bit of dense fog with a very warm and very humid start. 68 this morning here in Detroit, 67 working into Pontiac, 68 this morning in Gross East and 61 starting off up in Port Huron. Visibility down to right around a mile this morning over in Mount Clements, same at City Airport, two miles in Howe as well as over in Ann Arbor, and visibility sitting at around six miles over at Metro Airport. So if you do head out early this morning, use your low beams and give yourself a few extra minutes to get to your destination. While it's a dry start this morning, I'm watching an area of low pressure right around Minneapolis this morning, slowly moving off to the south and east. That's going to move out of Wisconsin over into Michigan as we head into this afternoon, bringing that frontal boundary with it, and that could spark some strong to severe thunderstorms from Michigan all the way down into the Ohio Valley. The Storm Prediction Center has placed a good portion of the Ohio Valley down through the Appalachians into the northern Tennessee Valley in green under a marginal risk. That's a one out of five on our severe weather scale. That does include all of southeastern Michigan from Sandusky down through Metro Detroit and into northern Ohio. Ohio and northern Indiana. As thunderstorms develop today, damaging winds in excess of 60 miles an hour is the primary threat, but I'm not going to rule out some hail above an inch in diameter and heavy rainfall, and I do think the tornado threat is low as we head into this afternoon. We're dry for the first half of the day here on clouds and radar forecast, but that frontal boundary and a warm front lifts right into the region, and with enough instability after 2 to 3 o'clock this afternoon, we will start to see those scattered showers and thunderstorms develop that could be strong to possibly severe. We wind the storms down by 10 to 11 o'clock tonight and keep a little cloud cover in overnight tonight into early on Saturday morning. While it's a dry start on Saturday, we're going to have enough cooler air in the upper levels of the atmosphere moving in with that low pressure system to give us a few rain showers as we go from Saturday afternoon into early Saturday evening. But those are done by 9 to 10 o'clock on Saturday night and we dry things out overnight and looking ahead into early on Sunday morning. So for today, very much like summer, warm and humid across the board. We'll top out at 85 today with those showers and thunderstorms developing through the afternoon and into the evening hours tonight. Right around 80 tomorrow with a few rain showers into the forecast before we dry things out and warm things into the mid 80s by Sunday with more shower and thunderstorm chances moving in looking ahead into early next week.